Good morning, Cerulean. Greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Michael Schwann. Today is Tuesday, June 27th, 2023, and we are here with our sixth stream of Final Fantasy 16, and the hope is that we will finish it today. We are around 32 hours in at this point, and we're a little bit behind in terms of how much I had hoped to have gotten done by this point, but the last few weeks have been crazy, and some of that just spilled over into uh, the time that I had scheduled for today. Because uh, we should have been at around 40 hours at this point, and we're only at 32. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, if I need to go farther today than just an eight-hour stream, I will. Uh, we might take a little peek at like a chapter list or something to see how close we are. But because of that, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get Stream Raiders fired right up and get started. Because there is so little option for me to figure out when and where else I'm going to end up putting this game if I don't get it done today. Uh, because this, because one, today is Tuesday, which is one of our normal streaming days, although I'd be streaming after work, but I took time off of work to play this. Uh, and then my next normal streaming day would be Thursday, and I could stream Thursday, and I might, but I was going to take Thursday off because this Saturday, I'll be here on Friday for Power Couple with Athena. Um, but this Saturday is also going to be the start of the Final Fantasy XIV playthrough. 
and we're going to be spending about five long days playing Final Fantasy 14. And I'm not sh there's not a whole lot of opportunity to fit more Final Fantasy 16 between today and Saturday. So, we'll just kind of see what happens. <laughs> we'll just keep going, though. We're making good progress. There's just a whole lot of game, which isn't well, a bad thing. Asterix. We'd finish sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, as she. I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive? Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Hi, Nectar. Yeah, you're the best. Yeah, cool. Obelus, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <laughs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? Concerning ones, probably. My dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strongbox with us, but his considerable knowledge of the goings-on in the free cities, by which I learned of the endeavors of a young friend of yours. Though I, for one, believe Miss Telemont's project to be quite the valiant and to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumors already reach my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. Which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep a watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill, and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Your loving uncle, Byron. Troubling Canva. Time to go to oh, Canva. I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. Mm, copy Next good. time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure to give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. Good. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Sid Legacy. I wonder what this place looks like now. Because Titan destroyed the shit out of it, right? My hair is not fully dry from showering this morning, so I'm actually going to leave my hat off for a minute. It's irritating my head.
well, Sid. I remember what you told me. Thanks, Martha. If no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning. So we must live while we have the chance. And not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Goots! Lady Karen! Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Good. Man, why would you well, say that? I'm sorry, have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, Nan. Oh, he actually it's called her Nan. There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots's traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Do you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. 
<laughs> oh, I hope we don't lose Goots on this mission. I like Goots. Mind you, I like everyone. I even like the villains. They've all been really good. I've not been sad about too many of them going, you know. You know. You know. But the people we have lost, good and bad, I've liked. Good ones I've liked a lot. Onward. Very well. Ah, this connects right here. Okay. How There's a feeling? side quest in the middle of the road. Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Toggle helped too. In the boy. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Neat. Did I get more potions? No, I didn't. Oh well. What's up, you two? So what do you think? That we'd be lucky to make... Really? <laughs> it's as bad as that. Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome-looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran. Leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker. I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? I don't Chances trust are, you. They'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, 
While you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. Quest accepted. Get cart. <laughs> Quite the complicated quest. I'm not sure I trust those two. Yeah, I don't either. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care. Look lively, you lot. Well, well, we've got guests. These must be our bandits. Ow. <laughs> This does dodge, right? There it goes. There was new enemies that joined, but Jill and Torgal killed them while I was still beating up the big guy. That's them dealt with. No. Where's that cart? Also, no treasure chests? Hearts fucked. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part. And that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? These two are weird. Look at them all. I thought the bastards would have eaten the lot by now. You've had your rewards and you're not getting any more. Hmm. Like, maybe they're just people. I see the Dalnecks lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. <laughs> All right then. The path continues on the other side. Maybe they're just dudes that just kind of feel sketchy in general. Like, they just can't help it because that's just like their personalities is to be kind of sketchy. Here's the bad guy.
Damn it. My hair is still a little wet from my shower that I took right before starting stream. So until my hair is fully dry, I left the hat off because I was wearing it. And then my head was like, "Ugh, stop it. The final sin. Is this that giant hole in the ground? So this is the Mechas. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. A final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in bearers. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. Something on your mind. Meanwhile... See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. Boy, so has not said a single word. <laughs> there is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. 
Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. Oh, he made a noise. Silence! Insolent wretch! <clears throat> you will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. He speaks. I'm hungry, father. Can't we have luncheon instead? And that little doll he was playing with has crystal eyes in it. Mom stayed Does behind. Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Goddamn. The fuck's going on? Mom's such an evil bitch. At least the kids spoke. The Boklab markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Like, I didn't think that kid was ever gonna speak. I was talking to Athena about the game last night when we were getting dinner, and I was, and we were both like, I don't know, I think that kid might be like a puppet. Like, literally, is just like a fake human being that is being, like, manipulated with strings behind the curtains by his mom or Ultima, his dad, or all of the above. Who knows? Also, how is it that very specific people seem to know about Ultima when nobody else does? How does Dion... Oh, wait. Actually, I know how Dion knows. Dion was told by Joshua. He didn't know before that. Okay. There's no way that he knew about Ultima before that. Joshua knows about Ultima. We know about Ultima. And it's very clear that 
Herbert and the king of the royal whatever the fuck they're called. Um, the dominant of Odin. He knows about Ultima. But it doesn't seem like hardly anyone else does. Um, yeah. Berserker. Best units, everybody. Where are we at? Well, that's handy. I need to remember that, that I can check the local map of the hideaway from here. And so I can see if there are things like these from anywhere. So there's new stuff at the tome. Somebody wrote me a letter, but there's actually not anything content, like larger content wise that I would want to go back to the hideout for. Wish I would have known that hours ago. <laughs> Okay, so we are, we're actually like right here. Because this giant hole in the ground, that's this, right? Right? A vast cavity in the earth located in the steps of the Forgotten, a desolate coastal region of eastern Dalmechia. Despite the fact that for centuries, seawater from the Strait of Altha has flowed into the plum... This crater without cease, it shows no sign of filling. The tragic tale that came to be known as the Sins of Dismechus is said to have taken place here. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinsight. His troops are well-trained and increasingly battle-hardened. But... It's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. Further to Bokhtar now. Good. Oh, I mean, there's got to be either a slow drain or some sort of bottom because there's standing water in there. So, you know. Sure, the ocean's flowing in and it's a really big bowl, but it's not... You, you, can, you can see water. Okay, here's what I need. I need some massive Final Fantasy slash math nerd to do the calculations on how much water is flowing in compared to the size of the bowl, like the diameter of the bowl, and figure out at least from this point how much longer it would take to fill. Yeah? I'm sure somebody can do it. I just don't, I don't know how you'd calculate the water flow again. Like, I'm sure someone can, but that per that someone is not me. I'd have to look up how to do that calculation, and there's somebody else out there who's like, oh yeah, you just do this, and water normally flows at a rate of this, and then we can estimate the distance of the, the bowl by this, and then we just do this and this, and then with this formula, it should be filled at its current rate if nothing else changes in 117 years. You know, whatever. I'm telling you, that's how that would work. Crystals here. We have to keep going. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. It's quite the space. Porter for hire. The best service at the best price. Others will carry off your fortune. What's up? Well met. An enhancer. Meteorite, Desert Rose, another orchestrian roll that we can't afford. Oh, I can top up my potions. You've a discerning eye. 
Many thanks. Let's top off all of them except for the elixir. Eye. Many thanks. A fine choice. Oh, do I have anything well to sell you? A little bit. You're welcome anytime. Out of my sight, wretch. Peaches and pears. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh, Mm. How much for a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper, not nowadays. They are more than welcome to look. Like the getting Empire's in is be unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. But can't you make an exception? for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find Goot, shall we? Goot! Where's our big sweet boy? A big baby boy! Somewhere. Come, taste my peaches! They're sweet as nectar! Where'd you get them? There he is. I'll take the large one. How you doing, Goot? Oh, good. There you are. Clive, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, good. Just tell us what happened. It's me trader's pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a bairn bumped into me and... Here. Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sign's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of me stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo then. You know, I realize that they, uh, the reason that they remove the brand off of everyone's face, right, is one, to free them of the burden that is the brand itself, and also so that people will treat them better. But part of me is like, man, you know, like at a certain point, wouldn't you just notice that there's a whole bunch of people with the same scar in the same spot? Like their scars all look slightly different, right? Because the procedure is done, like it depends on just how clean the procedure was done. But it's like, man, I feel like after a certain moment, you just notice that there's a whole bunch of people that are, well, a whole bunch, a, you know, a handful of people that are running around with this very specific scar in a very specific spot. The caravan stops next to the Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Jesus! Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Just don't go, El. He's been made. As I live and breathe. Goots. 
What are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. Sort of. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It got stolen. By a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. <laughs> Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little ban could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a traitor's pass either? No. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Are you gonna explain or are we just gonna fade to black and then everyone's gonna add no except for us? Oh, so you're saying that it's this reason. I don't know, understand why they do that in storytelling. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity. Leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners. And yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants, which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Are you gonna give me a piece Catch of jewelry? Catch behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. <laughs> Told you. Another piece of jewelry. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. Clive walks around with a small, makers. like, money Understood. sack that's jingling, and everyone thinks he's got money, and it's actually just all the different pendants and brooches and pins and collars and stuff that people have handed him. Of, like, here, this says that you're on a side. He's like, fuck, which town am I in? Which brooch am I supposed to wear here so that people don't fucking hate me? Is it the one with the chocobo on it or the one with the moon on it? I don't fucking remember. Damn it. I'll just, I'll just put them all on. <laughs> Out of my sight, wretch. Branded. You can't even fill my cup. Sounds about right. Thanks, V. 
because we've been given i think six pieces of jewelry now to signify that we're like we got an in with somebody who's important in a different region of the world and i'm just like that's great are you the furniture maker looking for something in particular ah and a wee's collared you too eh? then i expect you want to know more she told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets I do kind of wish they were displayed for on one, on him the somewhere. The carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger ran by the gates been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. <gasps> you won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be different there. No, it won't. Fish for sale. It'll be different for a short time. Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? I suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Jill, I like you and all, but I don't know how good you are with kids in just like a general sense. Have you ever tried to ask a kid a question, even if the, even if the kid knows the answer or even wants to give you the answer? Trying to get answers out of children can be very difficult sometimes. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. I don't believe that that boy doesn't know what a pickpocket is. He lives in a market. Uh, excuse me. What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... He said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Like, has anyone asked that kid to pickpocket? Probably not. Like, whatever, right? I'll believe him when he says no. Nobody's asked me to pick no pockets, sir. Uh, but I don't believe the kid that he's like, what the fuck's a pickpocket? I'm like, dude, come on. It's like ask, that's like asking in, any of these adults who live in a market, what's a bandit? Like, if it was a random noble that had, like, only ever finally stepped out of his house, like, once, maybe I would believe him. But then the other thing is that nobles are more educated, right? They have access to books and schools and shit, so they would be taught what bandits are. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed 
if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. I wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter, where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. And that's when Jill went dark and we come back and she's standing over there bloody corpse before his employers do. Daddy. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. I'm gonna get in a fight back here, ain't I? This is just big enough space to fight something. Oh, shit. I'm cornered. It's all right, Hansa. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Not like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Carstones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but it doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hansa. You found him then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. Who are they? You're him! <laughs> I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. I really wish this kid was just a little bit more of a punk. Like, I'm glad that he is not a bad kid, but I would have laughed so hard if he was just a little bit more fiery and then Goots walked up and he just made fun of Goots' voice. of so just like, man, how can you be that big and sound that way, man? No wonder I was able to steal from you. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Hello? Cowards. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? Which one? <laughs> Master Theo. <laughs> Huh? Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Bum bum bum. Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Bye, Fee. Have fun. Ground. I hope whatever you're doing is they fun. Bye. The desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. I don't. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. 
on pain of death, most likely. <laughs> Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we yep, all want little to save detour. Them. We keep on getting distracted by something. They keep on putting off the main plot for distractions. This is the main plot, though. Sorry, goods. I'm sorry. That's ah, all right, Hanza. World sucks. So, I get it. What's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders pass back, and I make Bokhlad a safe place again. All right then. All right then. Hanza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then? Cleft is to the south past the camp. Okay. I'm gonna bet they're back here. <laughs> There's not many places they could go. That's that then. Mm -hmm. There are no crystals here. Who are these dinguses? Okay. That's the one that's been sticking his nose in our business. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> I doubt these were the ringleaders, but at least we know we're on the right track. Man. Ripper Roonies. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Look, more dinguses. Where'd you come from? More foot soldiers. Fewer now. Hey, look where we're going. Oh wait, this is where we came from. Whatever. today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural-born ne'er-do-wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. What's up? Fuck! It's that guard from Bokland! Kill him! Kill them all!
He didn't die. There we go. I was all ready just for that to murder him, and it didn't kill him. Oh, I'm going to refill my coffee. Yeah. All right. All the good work, everybody. Fifty gold going to El Canadiano. Oh, my neck. Mm -hmm. There is one one bone rex. Count them. One. I'll show you a Rex. All right. Place units, everybody. Why? <laughs> And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? Of course. Glad to. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods has passed. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. 
I'll have asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way, then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Would it now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. Cool. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. It's another piece of fucking jewelry. <laughs> God fucking damn it! <laughs> what is it? Elle has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Uh... I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's pass should secure you a place on the caravan, but if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say, nine million? We'll try the caravan. Level up. Level 37. We got Trader's Pass. Hells yeah. All right then. Let's get this back to Goots. And then it's on. There's three side quests here. As much as I am enjoying the side quest, part of me is questioning doing them because I'm running short on time to finish this game. <sighs> you know what I mean? Like, I want to do them because I've really yeah, enjoyed all of the side quests. You about getting the word out. <sighs> I want to know right away. Bad news. Good, actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. 100% or bust. The, is the problem is, Moth and Wolf, is that I don't so have I her while I go and invite those I'd time. Like to what exactly are you celebrating, if you don't mind me asking? I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their fruits. So hey, El Canadiano. Doing pretty well. Oh. So you know of it, then. Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Give me your boss's number. I'll make some time for you. I already, I already got time for myself. I so took Thursday and Friday Marvelous. off and yesterday Thank and today you. off. You I'm sure to if far. I wanted to take tomorrow off, my boss wouldn't care. Market. But is Aldrich, the I Porter, shouldn't. Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the North Gate. Three of the finest fellows in Bocklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah, El Canadiano, I took four days off of work to, to play Final Fantasy 16. And I was kind of comparing it to Final Fantasy 7 Remake, which we got through in like 30 hours. But we're at hour like 34 in this right now. And while we are definitely getting closer to the end, we... I don't know if we're going to make it in the next 12 hours. Like, as silly as that sounds. That steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire. And yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? 
themselves. <laughs> Dude. How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city, and I require a rugged companion, lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er-do-wells or the beasts said to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? This guy. My arms are yours. Wonderful. Then come. We must away. But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis road. And from there, onward to discovery. Quickly. There is not a moment to lose. Wait. <sighs> Good luck with your Nandowells. I'd better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. Can't imagine there are too many grey-haired sellswords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. I just said all of that. I just picked up all the side quests. They don't take long, but they, like, the time that they take, like, starts to add up, you know what I mean? Like, sure, they don't take a whole lot of time, but 30 minutes here and 30 minutes there. I must leave for the Dominion. I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. A 66? Bugger me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from Sam Breck. From the Empire to Boklad. He must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route to the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. They'd saw a flam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. Mm -hmm. Outside of the bandit side of things, being a porter would actually be kind of a really sick job. I say that, and I was a courier earlier in my own life. I drove, I drove shit all all around town. Mind you, it was just around town and not in a wagon going between cities. Just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Why didn't ham to spare? Barclad clearly isn't suffering, then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. My old man knew what he was about when he set up shop here all those years ago. Anyway, thanks for the good news. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut up shop early. 
Wouldn't want to keep our friend waiting. Hmm. You won't find anything of this quality. Is this not literally just the wealthy nobleman guy that we got the sword from in that other side quest? I have noticed they've done a really good job of not reusing the same NPCs too much, but they are definitely here and there throughout occasion. If you're if you, if you notice them, Bullock. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it. The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought you might like a cup. I've never said no to a goat hand. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. You must be a busy man. The market would be flooded with refugees if we weren't here to stem the flow. Oh, my heart goes out to them, all right, but we've got our orders. No papers, no passage. Plenty try to slip past us nonetheless. And every now and then, one of them's foolish enough to try and force their way through. And when they do, well, things can get nasty. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. Well done. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. He just I'll might, Clive. I'll take the large one. What really Juicy pears! Goots, you want to be a blacksmith? You'd make I'll a great blacksmith. You already got the trader know-how, and looks like you certainly got the muscle to hammer that iron. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Bow, 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 chuck a bow. Chuck a bow. There are no crystals here. We have to keep going. What do you want? I've no coin on me. Just information. Has a cell sword passed through here? Grey hair. Now you mention it, there was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back. Which way did he go? I... How am I supposed to know? I got off down the road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same and leave me be? I want to just yeet that dude right off. I know that we can't do that, but... But it would have been really satisfying if we could, you know what I mean? To your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Now, feast your eyes upon the marvel before us. Ruins, a relic of the fallen civilization. A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels, dashed from the very heavens. Airships, we call them, with very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Mm -hmm. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. Mm. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. But merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. <sighs> the 
he's passionate. I'll give him that. We don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for someone. A grey-haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rocks. Those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. I see a Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. Well, that's true. Shh, no. I don't know if you there's goblins up there, already. but the goblins in this you game are horrifying. You said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. Can we climb up this? Hmm. Can't. Good jump, Clive. Did Joseph's thieves really lock their stolen wares all the way out here? An ancient sword. Is there any chance that that is actually better than Excalibur? No. Okay. I would have been amazed. I want to see what it looks like all the same. It's cool looking. Where are we? Oh, okay. This side quest leads to this little back area that I had noticed before. There are actually goblins back here. I think we found our thieves. They don't look happy to see me. Goblin Prince is durable. He also has no will bar. Enemy bested. We didn't kill the goblin prince. Let's get this over with. Can he Stop. speak? Don't kill him. He's just protecting his home. Joseph. So the boy was right. I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know what that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead and all the missing food. I launched myself at them full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food. Ready to die, protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them, and earned their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, 
They won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boglad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Right? Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot have sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Neat. I'd always thought of goblins as mindless savages. But if I'm honest, I like them better than half the men I've served with. Probably because they're simpler creatures in that they're just, you know, trying to survive, whereas men are conniving, evil, scheming pieces of shit a lot of the time. You guys are so noisy. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, where'd our where'd our dingus run off to? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I wish I could, like, just tell these goblins to leave. Oh, well. I'll just believe that this is a different group of goblins, okay? I know I said I'd leave you all alone, but now I'm going to murder this group. Not to at all. This guy. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, a final sin in all its glory. As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity. This is where like Ultima imploded or something, in the very huh? Land upon which it was waged. This is in where the water their holy icon sanctum, died. Did man enrage the gods and great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time, though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Oh, God, this Onward. guy. History awaits. This isn't some long stretch reference to Sin in Final Fantasy X, is it? I don't really keep up with most Final Fantasy games, just bits and pieces throughout the years. I don't think so. Like, Sin is a entity that exists in Final Fantasy X, but there's no, re there's not really any clear reference to like a final battle with Sin that resulted in a giant crater. This dude. I just knew it was a whale thing and there's water shit in Final Fantasy X. Yeah, you're right. You're on you're on the right track.
multiverse nonsense, there's thankfully, thankfully, very, very, very little multiverse nonsense across Final Fantasy. Like, almost none of the Final Still Fantasy games piece. have any connection to one it another. There's so. a couple of them that have, like, more, and I mean I'm the thinnest guest. thread more, that could technically me, connect perhaps. them. And it's a thin no thread, old, like thin enough you can't see it unless you, like, know where to look and look for it specifically. Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. I would also like but to learn the truth. That's why I've been following you. Trouble. You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my rambling. Sir. Glad to help, but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. You see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. There is one game in the franchise that is kind of, um multiversey but it is so that's final fantasy 13 2 and it's just because it deals a lot with time travel but it handles it fairly well and it's the only game that and really does so that so ends a delightful day a delightful Here, day you say your reward for humoring my selfish whims plus a little extra for the trouble i have put you to thanks Cool. Let me carry your goods. I'm we can turn in the other quest too. We'll run the battle. I'll go to the bathroom and then we'll continue along the main quest. Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. Part of me is like, yeah, you know, I'll take some more wire, right? But I also like am now at the point where I'm like, no, I need more of that because crafting the sword on our back, I thought we had a lot of wire, right? Or wire, right? We we right? I don't know. Anyway, and it ended up costing like 80% of our stores. It was hundreds of wire, right? And I was like, okay, they'll be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. It's been a while since we all sat down together, and the way I see it. That wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Aldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bollock, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Bocklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Hmm. Right. I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, 
I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A goat and sixty bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, but it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous in many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word spoken. Ah, huh. dude took his hood and stuff off. Sorry, Clive, you didn't get a didn't get a cup. Although you know those guys were talking about how like, well, a bottle between the four of us won't drink the sorrows away. A bottle of wine normally pours four cups. Like wine bottles have so little actual liquid in them because the glass is so thick. There's not much fluid in there. Be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. Not a barbarian and a monk going to Steve and El Canadiano. Thank you for your assistance, everyone. Valmir. Units, everybody. Hey, yeah. Let me make sure nothing has changed back at the hideout. Mm, no. Okay. You both have stacks of things to say? Five. And I wouldn't have it any other way. It's still better. weird to me that these these very specific things Farewell, are not voiced. Everything else in the game voiced. But specific sight. NPCs, if you ask them follow-up questions that aren't part of their quest lines, that's not voiced. Come on, come on. Jug of snake spit for the road. The Ew, gross. Jug of snake what spit? Really Disgusting. Hey, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass! You found it! Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo too. So should you, Hanza. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Miss O's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out the stables. It's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Uh, that's all right. I've got it back now. Uh, and all's well that ends well, eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm going to be your first customer. I'm going to save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll, I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? Oh, shall we? All right. 
right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. Certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sanbrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Yeah, what about Mom? Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess. When first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmekian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. I realize flowers are often a common sense of symbolism in Final Fantasy games, but I'm what curious as to this flower. Blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Gross. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. ...that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier... ...his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel... ...and not with tar. <gasps> Fork-tongued witch! <laughs> in consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, 
I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Phalisthea bows to its rightful ruler. Mom's a bitch. I know we've been saying that this whole fucking game, but mom's a bitch. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. I like Dion. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Dude, do we get to see Joshua Prime? Like a grown up, adult, seasoned, battle hardened, road weathered Joshua commanding Phoenix instead of the. Sickened Terrence. young boy. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the empire restored. Good luck, Dion. Good luck. For years, Drake's Tale has provided this relatively tiny nation with a wide-reaching influence rarely afforded to nations of the same size. Damn. Crystals are pretty. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. When they're afraid, they turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? My the mother is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. Everyone in this world is fucking good at whistling. This is bullshit. They're even able to do the mouth whistle with one hand with gloves on. Bullshit. What 
is it, boy? The medicine girl. What's happening? I don't know. Toggle. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good job, dog. I know you're like a magical frost wolf, but that was not a low jump. God, this game is so cool. Just like the camera angles and stuff. The city's on fire. I'm sure Goons is fine. We're under He'll be making for the square. Mix. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? had enough of our mutual mother's bullshit. What in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Right. Dion's uh, initiating a coup. He doesn't want to use Bahamut to kill a bunch of innocent they civilians. Find goods. Well, they're not civilians, I guess. They're all soldiers on the opposing forces Just side. But... Right. Do that. Identify yourself. Do we have to. there. No. There we go. Hi.
screwed. Damn it, I was still in that animation. It's a coup. <laughs> Never thought I'd be glad to fall into a sewer. Crab, what are you doing here? Fight Bahamut? I hope. I, I like both hope so, but hope not. Just because like the the fights against the icons are really cool, but I also don't want to have to fight uh, Dion because he seems cool. Lift. I'm glad we're getting to run around more of this city. If there's one thing that made me sad about Oriflam, Oriflame, Oriflame, whatever, the other big city, the one that we destroyed the first Mother Crystal in with Sid, is that we just didn't get to see the city at all. Captain, Is there are no casters. Ow. I guess just worms. Ow. 
We'll have to find a way around. Yeah, I already figured that out. Just trying to figure out where that way around is. I went over towards that door. Oh, now it lights up. Good boy, Torgal. Can I pet you? No, not right now. Okay. over here sorry caster you're problematic to like not deal with immediately so we must have picked up a extra potion i'm capped on healing right now but i definitely was not at full hp a moment ago Fuck off, buddy. I'm trying to deal with all your ads. Alright, there we go. Now come here. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Ow. I love that that worked. wanted it. I got this one. No treasure chest. Is this another potion? Because it'll just heal me if it is. It is. Okay. Actually gonna adjust my gear real quick I'm gonna remove this it's neat but I don't think it's actually what I want increases healing efficiency of high potions I didn't realize that those were different between high potions and regular potions don't we have one that does like 40% of potions yeah that's pretty good what else we have in here where's there's sort what does this sort them by 
Temporary increases attack proficiency with each precision dodge. I'm not precision dodging as much anymore because I'm just using my abilities. Duration of strength tonic. Combo damage by 5%. I'm not sure what classifies as combo damage in general. Blunt. These are too narrow. We'll give it a try, though. Enemies on the ramparts! Kill them! I'm not an enemy. I just haven't got... Well, actually, Dion and Clive probably have met in the past. Uh, actually, before we push that door open. Before we push that door open and inevitably begin the next piece of uh, content stuff. Ooh! All right, we're starting this 12 seconds early. We're going to curse this bitch. I'll be right back. I also grabbed a banana to keep myself going. <laughs> Time now for that loyalty scrolls chest. Oh no. It's F5. What is he? He's an assassin. Someone wants to put a rogue right here. You might be able to get that chest, but you're probably going to die to this buster. But anyway. Shinobi. Fair. Forget that they are an option. Goots. This is an arena for us to fight Can you in. See him anywhere? Goots wasn't in there. It must be one of the Dragoon's pets. Uh. 
Not bad. I think it has something in store for us. You think so? Ow. That didn't work either. That's a big zone. Ow. Jesus. Come back here. I'm not done with you. I don't know what that means. Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, oh God. Hi. Excuse me.
Oh, we got it. All right, sweet. Woo! There's a big boy. Hey, those are too little too late. We already crafted gear that's better than those, but I guess the gear that we crafted wasn't from main story quest stuff either, so. Good job, Jill. Uh, over here, Clive. Uh, are you all right? Yep. Are you all right, Goots? Goots, there you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. <sighs> all right. Let's get out of here. What now? Is that Mother Crystal's heart? What the hell is it doing up there? Gonna destroy this one. Well, that seems strange. Why would Dion do that? Your Highness, don't do this. We must leave. Now, Your Grace, I beg of you. This is not what he wanted. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yud, but I must put a stop to this. Your Grace! Something has happened. He wouldn't do this. I'm even more confused. So, uh, what do we do now then? We destroy the heart. We might come back. As soon as the flames die down, the Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. What? A new view slot in the ledge? I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. I, I packed everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. None would never forgive us if I did. Thank you, good. Huh. Just 
let me get my stuff out. Welcome to Goots's Toll. <laughs> Oh, here you go. Is there how else you need? Whatever you need, leave it to me. Is all done then? No. Thanks, good. You be brave now, boy. We could just leave if we wanted to. Drake's tail is right there, Clive. It's time to free Storm from the Crystal's curse. Yeah, I have some questions about the curse, too. Oh, it's past time. But remember, Bahamut is still out there. And yeah, and I think he's been corrupted by something. The night is done. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight Bahamut, but not because of not out of Dion's own will. Something weird happened. Dion wouldn't have attacked the city the way he did. I think the crystal tried to control him. No more roads. We'll have to find our own path. Do you feel that life? Ether. Weird. Just what we need. Another flood. It's already turned them. And there's no reason to hold back. Ow. Oh, I tried to use it. It did not work. Ow. So glad that I couldn't see you attacking me because of the camera. Must be a way to climb up. Yeah, we'll find it. Like right there, maybe. <laughs> the box here. 
Oh, well, I'm really glad I checked that box. It had an accessory in it. And it's an accessory for the super move from Ramu. That would have been unfortunate to miss. Speaking of moves, how many ability points am I up to? Lots? 4,000. Yeah, lots. Has this already been upgraded? It hasn't been upgraded. What does the upgrade do? Increases range and number of hits. Okay. Sure, go ahead and upgrade that. This is just mastery. This is mastery. Right. Wait, why do I have... Oh, I guess that makes somewhat of sense. Man, there's too many abilities. I want to use, like, all of them. Well, almost all of them. There are some that I don't care for, but... I want to use a lot of them. Oh. That is the Phoenix. Joshua. What is he doing? Keeping the helmet occupied. Joshua! Joshua! Focus, Clive. Don't, Clive. It's too dangerous. Fuck. Hold on, Joshua. I'm coming! Jesus. He knows he's busy. We need to do the same. That's not the ability I wanted, but oh well. That's that thing's really dead. area. No? Okay. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Let's keep going. Hello there. I thought I dodged that. Ow. I. Nice to see you too.
All right. One obstacle down. Who knows how many more to go? Oh, Shan. Box. It's a little bit of money and a little bit of crafting mats. The council chambers. How are they still standing? I don't know. Where? These? Or all of this? That's another arena if I've ever seen one. Be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. I still have a question about how he survived the first time. We're getting close. <laughs> Purple's really good about letting us know of danger. The fuck is this? No, oh, god damn it! Another one of these bitches. You are. No, no. Looks like somebody doesn't want us getting any closer. I don't care what it wants. I agree. Neither do I. Ow. I didn't get my counter on that. Ow. Ow. type of counter. Whoa! Rude. Ow. Oh! I'm fine.
I'm trying to end it here. That this will help. Got it. That was scary. Don't do that again. Oh, that's not how I expected you to do that. Ow. That works. Bitch. Damn, did that not hit him? That sucks. Kill him, please. Cool. That dude was nasty. Okay. Lots of spells in that guy. Let's put this right here. Then while this battle runs, I'm going to run to the bathroom, and then we'll find out what kind of crazy shit's about to happen next. Okay. Whew. 200 gold. Can be yours for 420 channel points. Most kills going to Shmai, followed by Steve, followed by Happy Kittens. Most assists going to El Canadiano, followed by Shmai, followed by everyone else. I'm going random on that 200 gold in five, four, three, two, one. Happy Kittens.
Uh, hmm. You're on cooldown. You're not, though. All right, plays units. Everybody, everybody. All right, here we go. Get out of here. You weird, gross. These beasts. They're getting stronger. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. The heart. There's no chest in here, right? Our loot is what we pulled from his chest. <laughs> How do we get up there? I mean, I guess we could prime. It's worth a try. We're gonna find mom at some point in all of this, probably. Quiet. There's someone up there. you made with the Emperor why mother why did you betray us all you have no right <gasps> answer him we took you in savage show some respect for those who raised you <sighs> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty, the noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. <sighs> you sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh! How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own not long for this world. The shame of it, the shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. Jesus Christ. Do you ever know how that feels? It should have been you! Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua, my darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? Hmm. What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. <sighs> Well, <gasps> oh 
Joshua! Wake up! <laughs> I'm a shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are you... That was fucking cool. My only ask is that this fight is not as long as the fight against Titan, because that was obnoxious. I don't know what's happening with you, Dion, but I'm sorry. He's really cool. Thanks, Joshua. I've learned the ability Spit Flare from Bahamut. Press R2 plus triangle to release a massive stream of light that sears anything in his path and aim with L. Press X at any time to cancel the attack. 
Extended exposure to the flames will become will cause them to become partially staggered, canceling any initiated abilities. Maintaining the flare for its maximum duration will result in enhancing finishing explosion. Oh, it's hard to aim. <laughs> Can I dodge this? Oh, it's some of it. Thanks, Joshua. This is cool. That was pretty good. I wish the camera angle was better for that, but we'll do it again. Maybe. Shit. Can't reach him. Uh, we could use a lift, Joshua. No. I'm okay. I'm sure. I'm always okay. Sort of. Not again. Can I play as Joshua for a little while? Can I play as Phoenix? We got to play as him just a small little bit. I'd play as him right now. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Move a name, fire, charge it. Cool. Use L while moving, holding circle to lock onto multiple. To oh, hang on. While moving, hold circle to lock onto multiple targets. Release circle to launch a volley of fireballs at all targets. Okay. Ow. Stop it! Jerk. Shit, I missed one. Jesus, stop it. I think Ultima got to him. The only reasonable explanation, right?
Piss off, Dion! There's that red star, Meteor. <laughs> Fuck you! Muhammad, why you gotta be so damn durable? Wow! Stop it! Woo! Woo! It's fine. Fuck off. I'm trying. All right, back to Clive now, please.
Oh! Oh! That was some good hits. <laughs> because Joshua just unloaded on his ass too. Oh. What are you doing? I don't know if I like this. Uh-oh. I I am? Does this count? Oh shit. Oh, I need to I need to add strength. I need to add fire. Good job, Joshua. I'll finish him off. Oh. I'm fine. Good job, brothers. Please don't pull a fucking Hugo and go eat the heart and become all big and nastier and stuff. Like, please don't. That fight was fine just the way that it was without you needing to become an even bigger beast. We have to stop him. Alright, let's go battle in fucking space.
embodying Ifrit Risen. Enhanced versions of most of Ifrit's abilities are available for use as Ifrit Risen. In addition to Wildfire, Ifrit Risen also has the ability to access Light Speed, which is similar to Phoenix Shift and allows for a swift approach to the target. Light Speed can be executed by pressing X. All abilities available within embodying Ifrit can also be on the ability tab. whole bunch of numbers yeah you big angry boy interesting sure glad we have that instant transmission move now definitely gonna need it Like all that? Lots of dodging gave me lots of powered up freaking range attack to blast you with. I thought I was in a clear spot. I was wrong. Ow, I tried to dodge. I failed. Gonna be enough. I'm gonna need one more of these. I will go ahead and heal.
That's how you get out of the way. You just get all the way out of the way. Get back here, you bitch. Jesus. Zeta Flare? Oh, okay. Think he's dead? <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> Bananas. Yeah, I'm sure. Just some casual banana. I'm gonna get some more coffee after that. I'm gonna end up tired before we finish this. <sighs> Start the battle! Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Two centurions going to Mrs. Sack. Oh, it's time for the boss fight. We just finished the boss fight. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Level up. Peace for a new weapon.
Get him, Phoenix. He's already been in space for like, you know, 30 seconds, so he's dead, but... He's gonna end up not being dead, but he should be. That crystal screamed. Like, that crystal screamed in pain. All right, we can put a hat on now. Joshua! My Clive! Jill, standing there. My brother. I... Oh, no! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. Oh, but for how long? I never dared hope that I would see this day. Oh, God! Hey, boy. Hey, Dion. You still alive there? What's up, bro? Yeah, that's what I thought. It is done. The demon that would tear our house apart is no more. Father. Yeah, but where is Dad right now? The Mother Crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. Yeah, we can take him with us. I owe him a debt. Fine. Goes this shit again. Five, you gotta get stop getting close to other dominance, buddy. Like, seriously, just stop getting close to him. There can nothing be done to call them off. I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Theon. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man! Go! Your Radiance. By the light, Dion, a 
Have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once! Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, Father. Save me? The creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. Not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings and the master loses the power. What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards, take him! For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. Should have brought two spears. Fuck, should have brought three spears. Gods! Gods! Father. Poor father. How he doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this. You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kinslayer. Fucking Mythos, uh, not Mythos, fucking an Ultima man. Not again. Brother? I'm fine, sort of. We need to go. It's a long story. Yep. 
Come on, Dion. Before you die, we need to have a chat. Leave her here. No. Don't even give her the time. Let's just leave. You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. She don't deserve to be saved. Get away from me! This is all just a dream! Just a bad dream! You will not take me, Shadow! You will not take me! Rocks are going to fall on her, and I'm not even going to feel bad about it. Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ, I didn't even... I, the fuck? And nothing of value was lost. Except for a little bit of our poor boy's sanity. Mother. Okay, seriously though, we need to go. Fuck, Jesus Christ. Why even offer to save her? Because Joshua is, is a very good person. That's why. Because the two bo brother boys there are such good people that they would even try to save people that don't deserve to be saved. I hope that turns to dust faster. If it is consciousness that weaves your wills together, consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others, then we shall set you apart once more. This dude. The ties that bind you shall be severed, and humanity return to its proper place. There's a good old Sephiroth reference for you right there. Genesis shall a new age of reason begin. Primo Genesis? Wouldn't be Res oh, Resident Evil. Wouldn't be fucking Final Fantasy without some weird made-up fucking words. Relax, your majesty. Benedicta? Sometime later? That can't be Benedicta, then. If it is... What the fuck? How? She ain't real. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish. Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile wills with strands of consciousness. The wretched and the work of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last and for but a moment. Their flame burned bright. And that's when the dude is like, fuck yeah, creepy guys. That's what gets Soon me going. Ethos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness 
and mythos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you, find Muthos and sever every one. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. Fucking hate this dude Shall and his done, like master. My will is yours. Eyes, his eyes are gross. Who the fuck is this? Besides so just somebody else that he's, you know, pretending to be. That whole section was weird as shit, dog. That whole bit there was real fucking freaky. All right, well, anyway, let's go back home. Let's go home. That was weird. How is your brother? He's been better. Asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Can we Tyre talk to Yote yet? He should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? Yeah. It's never ending. There's only one mother crystal left. At least only one that we're aware of. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. The power of light. Clive have claimed a portion of Icon Bahamut's essence. Attuning with Bahamut not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target, dealing it continuous damage. Use Bahamut's iconic feat Wings of Light to begin casting Mega Flare, an immensely powerful spell that showers enemy with a deluge of searing light. The longer the spell is charged, the more powerful the results. Press circle to cast the spell when ready. Taking damage will casting will cancel the spell. Tony won't be happy if I disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. It will take time to come to terms with everything that happened in the Dominion. But time is the one thing we always seem to lack. All right, well, there's new hunts out there. I don't know if I'm going to pursue the hunts for the sake of time. Wow, lots of things to read. I already read that one. I'll have you know I ain't never shed a tear in front of no one, not even my mother, and you won't soon be catching me doing the like again. So if it pleases your lordship, we can both forget about the whole damn thing. 
The set I chose to follow all them years ago is gone, and there ain't no dragging him back from the depth of whatever hell he talked his way into. But his legacy, that lives on, and you and everyone else here at the hideaway. Sure as the sky is blue. At least I think it's still blue. As long as it is, I'll be right here where you can count on me. Eloise, I trust you and your party gained the Dominion. Without further event, should your travels ever bring you back to the markets and put you in need of additional assistance, you'll find the Crimson Caravans more than happy to oblige. We might even offer you a discount. What's up, guy? What is? It? What was your name again? M Mayhem? Something like that? I don't remember. I can't read your handwriting either. Reports from our brothers and sisters afield are all the same. These accursed skies cast not only a pall over our land, but over the hearts of our people. Hearts already heavy from the fall of Dominion and the destruction of Storm's final mother crystal. For now, the realm endures, but with each new flood do her few remaining children descend further into madness. The situation is as ever dire. Fresh wings shall find you on the moon's turning. Until then, our watch continues. What's up, Theo? Word out of Twinside is that there's little left at the capital after the Mad Prince's royal tantrum, but what of you and yours? Did you manage an escape before the city went tits up? I trust you did, but Astolos might be good to set El's mind at ease. Did you see the pair that got pulled into time? Aye, all their fancy silk stained red. Yeah. Still alive, are ya? Yeah. Coin purse weighing you down. You got anything new? Anything fancy? Last elixir. It is the easiest elixir. Is it the easiest elixir to procure? No. But it is the last one you will ever need. Upon knockout, automatically restores all HP, fills limit gauge, and increases attack power by 10% and defense by 30% for 6 seconds. It, it's a fucking Legend of Zelda fairy. <laughs> sure, I'll take it. It's better I'll be here. Oh, I only get one. Noted, don't use it unless you need to. You'll not find a better price than that. Alright. What new can I craft? What do I owe the honor? So, will it be? A new sword. Using the light shard. It's not a lot better than Excalibur, but god damn it, it's better. Two whole points better. No scratches, right? Hmm. That's a pretty good piece of armor there. We need stained loincloth and a marble flower. Is there one in here too? No, there is not. Stained loincloth and a marble power. Both are from hunts. I don't know if we have access to these hunts. Anything else? But for a good piece of gear, I might be willing to sacrifice a little bit of time to go get those two piece those two items. We'll see if it looks stained loincloth and a marble flower. So there would obviously need to be a marble hunt, and then the other hunt would need to be something. Stained loincloth would probably be some sort of humanoid, right? Because the loincloth covers up the groin area. So it'd have to be something that can do that. I'm just clearing off these notifications real quick so that they're gone for later. So it'd either need to be like a, like a troll or... Because it wouldn't be like a behemoth or something like that, right? It would need to be something that would need to cover up its its bits. So like a, a soldier, some sort. We we did fight that one like ninja guy who was killing people for sport because he's gross. Um, or like a you know a dragoon or some shit. Did you see that? Oh, you saw that. Saw oh, what? Just check the board real quick and find out. Hey, Vivian, has anything changed realm-wise since we destroyed today? the fucking capital? What is it that you wish to learn? One must understand one's place in the world. Because, like, that place is fucking wrecked now, right? 
So the only place that's really left is the Kingdom of Walud with Drake's spine out there. But... Yeah. 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 Okay. Here's the latest information I have. The royal family is dead. Well, sort of. I guess Dion's still alive. For now, anyway. For now. Very good. I expect Yote to f wait. I expect Yote to Hi. show back up at some point. What is it that you wish to learn? Oh, his his face looked grayed out, but it's not. He's just fucking gray. It was like, why is he gray? I was like, Olivier being dead does not make this guy dead. The otherworldly being behind much of the tragedy and turmoil that has plagued Valisthea, he means to claim Clive as his vessel, Mythos, by purging his will, a will strengthened by the ties of consciousness that bind Clive with others. He unleashes primogenesis upon the world, shrouding it in darkness and turning thousands of Kashyyyk, but that that these ties of consciousness might last be loosened. I still don't know what his overall plan is lesson. in terms of, like, he says he, something about for humanity in some weird, wicked way. Dude's evil as shit, How right? I help you today, Clive? Is everything we've received and everything promised. All right, what what's forthcoming in the five more fucking renown, and we get this one big old pile of ability points in there, an orchestrian roll as well as a piece of amber, which is a crafting material, talisman of priming. What is that? Yet, I'm afraid. That sounds like a good accessory. What is that accessory? That's I want to know. There, Sid. Okay, nectar. What is there in the way of hunts? There's three new ones. The Ten of Clubs, merchants who ply their trade across the fields of Korava, tell of an outlaw five and two, twenty, five and twenty-five hands high and mighty of Thu who preys upon unescorted, unescorted travelers. They claim he lives alone in one of the many abandoned villages that litter the region, but none has been brave nor foolish enough to narrow the search any further. You read who this have, e who this have either or both of those qualities, the Dalmechians beg for your aid. So that's probably our bloody loincloth, right? Or the Magath brothers. Yeah. It's probably one of those two. Could be either of these to give us our bloody loincloth. A lone rowing boat has been sighted making land off the coast of Port Isolde. Its occupants wearing the garb and speaking the language of Iron Kingdom Crusaders. One can only assume that they come to take their vengeance upon Sid the Outlaw for destroying that which they hold most dear. We advise against all travel to the area lest they think to kill or capture our members in retaliation. One of those two is wearing a bloody loincloth, right? I think it might be the Ten of Clubs guy and not the Magath brothers, but it's one of those two. And what's this one? San Braqua legend tells of a dread dragon who set near half the realm alight with his torrid breath before being sealed away behind a magical mist by Grieger herself. Some sources claim, though it has long forgotten which parts of the tale are true and which are mere myth, recent reports of a great dragon's roar reverberating around the woodland passes of the Empire are real enough. That is not a morble or a morble flower. That will not... We're missing, we're missing the morble hunt in order to, to, to get our morble flower to make the cool bracers. This is an S-tier hunt, too. Scurry. The other S-tier hunt was scurry, too. Okay, well, until I see a marble flower on there, I'm not going to trouble myself too much about it. Oh, good. The battle's almost ready. I need to go to the bathroom. Something fierce. Oh, we need to take a look at uh, Bahamut's abilities. Bahamut Channel is going to go down there. Yeah. And there's two slots left. There's a slot here and a slot here. One is Odin, and I don't know who the other one is. It could be Shiva. Which would mean that we got power from Jill for some reason, and I don't want to know what that reason is. Sounds sad. Um, and then, or it could be another icon that we don't know about yet. I'm still holding out that that water icon is out there somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, like I said, I need to go to the bathroom. I'm going to do that while this battle runs. Uh, let's go killing field, like right here. Sounds good. Okay, I'll be right back.
all right. Bathroom complete. I'm gonna have to get some lunch soon. I have some easy lunch upstairs. I just have to take the time to actually go like heat it up and stuff. And say I prepped it yesterday so that I wouldn't have to like be take too much time away from stream to go get it. And it's relatively easy to eat. Uh, damn, fuck you guys. My options are a token chest, a scrolls chest, or a skin chest. I think I got all the skins, didn't I? I did. How am I doing on tokens? 34. So we're getting closer. I don't know if I'll make it to that token chest. Hmm. Well, yeah, I will. One, two, three. That's only four hours. I'm going for at least four more hours, if not four more beyond that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll probably try and finish this whole fucking event. Um, we'll go for the loyalty scrolls chest, probably. I don't know, we'll just start here. Also, welcome back, Fee. I hope that whatever excursion you went on went well. Okay. So what are Bahamut's abilities? That's the spheres of light that chase enemies down. A flamethrower. Eh. Satellite summons multiple light expected familiars that attack. Mm, I get it, but I don't know if I like that ability either. I don't know if I'm too, too jiving with Bahamut's stuff. His ultimate is Giga Flare. Lots of damage on Giga Flare. Giga Flare is probably a really good idea for trying to to get a lot of damage out of your stagger windows. How long does it take to level up to charge Mega Flare? Oh god. Forever is the answer. You can dodge while charging it. Okay, well let's let, let let's level that up and we'll we'll check it out. Uh what of these abilities of Bahamut's do I actually want to give a try? We'll give his base two abilities a try. Um, and we'll replace, I don't know, <laughs> Titan, I guess for now. All right. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fat storms at Mother Crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the Free Cities, helping Mid with her project. Sent an owl their way the moment the winds turned foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme into those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. Cost of groceries and a vaccine taken care of? Good work. I suppose not. How are you doing? Anything catch your eye? Seen no, enough? actually. We don't have any open side quests right now. I thought that's a bad thing. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. 
They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. Mm -hmm. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Walud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Ein Heyar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. Yeah, and we still have the issue of the blight the blight doesn't seem to be retreating at all a despite the removal of the mother crystals not my best flourish but it seemed fitting the reports i've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal without the protection of their nations it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs which is only ever going to end one way defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing but pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. Okay. Let's go talk to Harpocrates. Poems! Hello there, Tomes. Is a storm coming soon? Will there be thunder? Let me guess. You're here about the skies. Just Is a there bit. Anything you don't know, Lawsman. <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens. That, I believe, is a question the fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters. But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. Mm -hmm. There is nothing divine about him. Mm -mm. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? Mm -mm. <sighs> Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, 
I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope. Yeah, of course. Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Yeah. Even without sure. this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Hmm. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Shall I tell you Good some stories? You, my friend. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Level up. There is a the more you know. I've been meaning to show you. What subject shall we consider today? Ah. We have almost filled the bit the bestiary. We're missing presumably two icons, one of which is Odin, and the other one is is what? <laughs> no, Odin's there. Shit. I don't know. There's 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 two icon slots here. I don't know that they're icon slots, but I'm pretty confident that they're icon slots. Because all the other icons are here, right? Including this fucker. What are we missing? Besides two icons, we're missing one, two, three creature types. Tonberry, Cactuar, and something else. Behemoth. That's what we're also missing. We're, we're missing Tonberry, Cactuar, Behemoth. Because I don't think Behemoth is in here, right? No. Yep. So we need we need to find a Cactuar, a Behemoth, and a Tonberry. We're still missing some people of interest. Interesting. The medicine girl. Hopefully she's okay. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Here's a storm coming, Sid. Clive, we have a problem. We got lots Only of one. them. That would be a first. There you go. It would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a Kashyyyk at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalimil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains, it fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means there's only two people who can. Jill Present. and I. Let them know we're on our way. And a new batch of side quests has appeared. Clive. Here How many and where? Oh, they're not side quests. They're all main quests. They're just in different spots. Think you can help? Back again? How may I help you today? Hmm. 
thus ends today's lesson. Thanks, I guess. Okay. Well, we will help the people in the order that we met them. So we're going to go to Martha's Rest first, and then over to Northreach, and then down to Dalamil. Place is in good shape, I see. This man's gonna die if we don't get him to a healer. But all our beds are taken. The Akashic attacked us out of the blue. And there's no telling when they might be back. You best keep that sword handy, Sid. Okay. Well, more people look alive than dead. Martha, it's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Hmm. Do you think there are as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. You don't think they've abandoned us, do you? Them not. Not a chance. Excuse me. The barricades we've set up around the town won't hold the Akashic back for long. Clive, wounded. Deal with the Akashic first. Well, let's see how well this goes. Holding. Holding. This takes forever. Oh my god, this is obnoxious. All right. This better just win. Was better that uh, you know what that was actually better than I was expecting all right what does this do that actually did quite a bit too and then this which I can just hold for a while I think they're dead they just haven't finished dying yet What happens if... Oh, I... So I can't just cast it at level zero. I have to hold it for a minute. I can't do anything until it's at least level one. 
which is now. Eh. That looked awful, honestly. Such a long wait. Lots of damage, at least. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if I find an accessory later that, like, says it charges up Mega Flare this faster, then, like, fight, maybe. So but with how long that took, I don't think it's worth using. Like, if you've come to rob this place. You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wadesmen? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you anon. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! I'm here. We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. We will. Okay, how many ability points do we still have, or do I need to refund some? We have 407. Okay, hey, um, give me, give me these points back. Thanks. That wasn't nearly as many points as I was hoping it was. <laughs> oh, let's pull the points out of Flare's breath. Here, I can just pull these points out too. Since we aren't using him right now. All right, what does upgrading this do? Increases the number of satellites. Okay. What did upgrading this do? The number of orbs. Uh, is there anywhere else I can grab a couple of points from? I don't need a whole lot. I need, like, just a bit. Here. Is this enough? Maybe. Yeah, I think that's enough. If we upgrade that. Upgrade this. Okay. Oh, wait. I need to change those over. So now we're going to change this to satellite and giga flare. I actually want to swatch, switch those in their spots. Giga flare. Satellite. There we go. Good morning. Take a look at the other two of Bahamut's abilities. I'm not stoked very much with his, like, base ability of charging up Mega Flare. It's not bad, but it feels like crap to use. Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. 
And by the looks of it, we thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! Damn it! We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. All right. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. Satellite. They just shoot a bunch of shakes. You know, as like a support spell, they ain't that bad. Like as long as you remember to use your um your spells, they ain't too bad. Like they they add a lot, right? How do they do on uh Oh damn it, they're they're gone. Wait for them to come back. Yeah, this thing sucks. <laughs> this thing takes so... Okay, here... Okay, that's actually a big deal. Shoot me again, or charge at me, or something. So, one thing to note about Mega Flare is it gets a huge... A huge increase in its charge level if you dodge. That, that is one thing to keep in mind. Like, it charges like a, a level and a half if you dodge. One hundred MFPS? I don't know what that means. Like, that's a lot. One, two. Yeah, okay. That helps a lot that it is that strong. Giga Flare is pretty dumb too, jeez. So if you're fighting the right enemy. Yeah, if you're fighting the right enemy that you can get that'll attack you fast enough that you can use dodges. You could charge that up pretty quick, especially like some like the Dragoons and stuff where no matter what, unless you stagger them in the middle of their attack string, you can't interrupt it and they'll attack you like three times. If you know that that is coming and can like set up for it and don't fuck up your dodges, you could easily get it to level four really, really quick. Is anyone hurt? Okay, that's not as so. bad. I still am not big and on it, but again, it, it makes it a lot better than it initially seemed. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> You've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Hi, Martha. Martha. Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down Eastpool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Feel like finishing the job. Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Thanks, Wade. Okay. The satellites, though, those are pretty sick. Like, I still don't know if Bahamut's Mega Flare is worth using over 
the charge that you get from Phoenix, the rise and the knockdown that you get from Garuda, or the counter that you get from Titan. Like, it's just hard to beat those. Ramu's ability felt terrible. Um, this man's gonna die if we don't get I don't know if Mega Flare beats out all of that utility and movement that you get from the other three so far, save for Ramu, because his is really worthless in my opinion um but since you can master the icon abilities and use them on other icons i could absolutely see mastering the satellites because they just add so much extra all the damn time wow there's a few of them huh like just doing just Putting them out there and then just fighting normally with the other ones seems super good. But this, <laughs> this feels stupid. This feels like the wrong thing you should be doing. And you lose it completely if they hit you. Well, I guess you don't lose it completely. It starts depleting. Hello? Hi. Oh, it's a Kashik Chocobos. That makes me sad. I like the Chocobos. I don't like fighting Chocobos. In this circumstance, we'll just tell ourselves that it's putting them out of their pain. Because I don't imagine being a Kashyyyk is a very comfortable feeling. Something's coming. Oh, man. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, so wait. Shall we? Now, rude. Ow. Oh, you bitch. You can aim the Giga Flare, which is pretty cool. Stop dodging my moves! Ow, ow, ow. Bitch, fuck off with that bullshit. Okay. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. Good work, but Wade. It won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. Damn, son. Yeah, Clive getting real strong. Real beefcakey. Oh, we we're just climaxing over to the death of that king and stuff. We what still got more. There? The same as Sir Wade. 
Scores of Akashic. We still got one Mother well, Crystal left. They came from, at least one there. Icon left, because Odin's still out there. And we got fucking Hopefully Ultima to deal enough with. Time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's Nine hour stream hurt. It might be more than back. that. No joke. But when? My goal is to finish the game today. To so the stream might end up being like 12 hours. I'm going to do and my damn just to try to finish it. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. Quest complete. Are you going to willpower or YouTube video? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, absolutely not. What is this? Oh, it's just a memory thing. Okay. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. We'll meet Oscar in just a minute, okay? Um, I'm going to put the music on real quick. I'm going to start the battle. I'm going to go ready my lunch because it is 1 o'clock and I haven't eaten yet. Uh, so I need to do that, especially because we're going to be going for a little while longer. So I'll hang out for this battle and then I'll start the next battle. And then I'm going to go ready some food. Uh, I intend to eat it here at the desk. I'll try and keep you from being able to see me shoving food in my gob. Um, but I intend to eat it here at the desk so that we can keep going because time is precious. Because I, I did take four days off work to play through this. And uh, today's the last of those dang, dang days. And so got to put in as much effort as we can to try and get through this game today. We're, we're, we're close, but... There's always that question, you know, of like, well, how close is close? Are you going to make it? I don't know. We're going to fucking try. All right. Let's go down over here. Okay. I'll be right back.
Alright, almost there. Gotta make some room on the desk here. And I'll turn off the camera in a minute. Okay. Hey, Rio. Rio, spoiler warning. I know that you've been playing this, but you just started yesterday. I know most of the time you're a, a lurker anyway, but I just wanted to give you a heads up on that all the same. I don't know how far you got yesterday when you were playing Final Fantasy 16, but we are well ahead of where you are. Just as a warning there. Okay, let me make a... Uh, is it this? No. There we go. Let me just make myself disappear so that I don't have to be too concerned about trying to move my head or anything while I eat. But I do intend on still playing while I eat. And we'll get started on that now. As soon as I figure out where I put the controller. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, so wait. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I'm a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. Not that so Wade and the other guardians are, <laughs> I mean to say that, uh, the... It's all right, we know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way.
I will not let you down, Lord Rossfield. You or my uncle. We shall be staying here for the time being, and not just for the ale. I'll have one of my men escort Oscar to Benamir once he's said his farewells. Cool. If I sound a little odd on the microphone, it's because it's farther away from me while I'm eating. Fate seemed bent over. on driving me from my inn. Well, if any man who ain't in need of himself coming up, you have to try me. harder. If you could, I'd be in your debt. All right, on to the next one. Over to Northreach. First we find Isabel. I saw it with my own eyes. The whole of old flame under a flood. Oh, Can fuck. we're next? If the whole of Oriflam is under a flood, that means the whole city has turned to Kashik. That sucks. I can't do it. I can't fight those things. But you can. You must. For me. For us. Lord, the lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a kashik, but different. Different. I've taken so many. I've lost count. A kashik, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. I realize I haven't saved in a while. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days! What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. God damn. She speaks the truth, you know. This is it. It's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Thanks, guy. Oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Um, <clears throat> What we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. 
<laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. If it was the nightmares, then they did. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. My family. Protected it's all right. in the capital. Give me your arm. I'm sorry, darling. I truly am. I legit thought that these two were just petting Torgal. It's just where Torgal ended up standing, but it seriously looked like they were like, yeah, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, you know, hang out near the Frost Wolf. Makes me feel better. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I, they came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just... gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. And we just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. You have a plan. It was all they could do to escape. They just left the bodies there in the flood. Hmm. This place looks like it's doing well. Why would you ever even suggest that, Jill? The fuck?
Yeah, I was able to kill that other guy too. <laughs> Do you think there are more? There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. Nah, it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit, but whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. Hmm. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. You're welcome. Philippe will make a good captain. He reminds me a little of you, Clive. But without all the mocks and mows. What is a, what is mocks and mows? Like, I, I genuinely have no idea what that means. All right, over to Dalamil. This place don't look good either. In fact, I would say this place looks actively shit. Sid. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Lol. Should I be worried? Uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill. Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah! As if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? Well, she makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Suppose we just follow the shouting.
You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandit's ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Fuck you. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. And Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness. Do I remember this guy? Chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnis. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake... ...he'd let them choose for themselves... ...and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But... ...perhaps that realization... ...would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? When all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Oh, good. Play along. What he means to say is yes.
Okay. Hello again, Cerulean. Before that, I'm going to run this battle, and then while this battle is running, I'm going to run my dishes upstairs and get some water. I will be right back. All right. This has been put away. The food has been had. I'm really amazed we lost that. I don't know what happened. Did we just get murdered by like the uh, centipede or something? I thought we had that one. I should find food again. I thankfully should be good on food for four or five hours or so. Students, everybody. Oh, I can turn this back on. Mm, the other one. There, there we go. Okay. Woo. Victory, Conrad. Your own city guard. With you as captain. Me. Here she is. The Lady of the Spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire, is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. 
You know of the seven high houses? There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad? Good job, Jill. Are you saying that Dalham's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youth could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. I had a quarter can of spam and some paid potato salad for my lunch. It's no good. I don't know. I've real. I, I can destroy some potato salad. Like, mm. especially if it's deviled egg potato salad or mustard potato salad. Mm. Do some damage. I mean, it may still be possible to buy something, and we may yet be allowed to keep it. Yes, but. Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill, at your service. Underhill? I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital's stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is... Worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Sorry, I'm a terrible liar. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. Thanks. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss and we shall see what we face. I'm gonna go fight some bandits in a minute. Totally, I was saying it could be healthier. I could evade a whole pine, whole, the whole pine probably. Yeah. Were entirely necessary. Like I said, I really love me some uh, <laughs> potato <laughs> salad. Is Conrad's potato salad that bad for really you? Good. I mean, potatoes are really good for you. Oh. I mean, I'm sure you can make unhealthy really. potato salad, but I don't know if just offhand potato salad is necessarily that bad for you. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert. 
in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer-thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. The stakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. Mustard potato salad. I thought you might mustard say that. Mustard we'll for as long as we deviled can. egg potato and we salad. Do the same. Oh! That's not healthy. But it is really good. Take that one. He's all yours. Come on. Somebody attack me. There you go. Do it again. Fuck. Fuck. Do it again. There you go. Do it again. Oh, I, I hit it too soon. I believe in you. Oh, never mind. I'm done. They mean to overwhelm us. They ain't overwhelming shit. give you this right now you can have this this is all for you yeah just damn bro did not give enough of a fuck about that townspeople could they have held out we'll find out i don't hear any fighting what do you think that we should hurry had you not held the line without you there would have been no line to hold you saved us conrad you saved alamil we all saved alamil
Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. Thanks. I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. All right, well, there's a few fires temporarily put out. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind at rest. new things. There's a letter in here. Did you see the pair that got hauled into tires? Oh, hey Oscar. Welcome back, my lord. I only just arrived myself. No one seemed to know where I should go, so I thought I'd guard your chambers until instructed otherwise. <laughs> okay. That noise. It's a little stolus right here. Look at him. <laughs> Fluffy bird. Hey, Martha. The Guardians are getting along with the axes fine enough, working to shore up the rest walls when not clearing out what few threats remain down in the reeds. Though chances are we'd still be neck deep in Akashic had you not given that horde your firm but gentle nudge. I know you've a realm to save and all, but if you ever need a quick reviver, come see us and we'll tap you a cask. Hey, Wade. You have an uncanny talent of showing up where you're needed most, my lord. Without the steel, I fear the rest would have been in the hands of the Akashic, and us more than their nameless numbers. However, with the horde now both thinned and fractured, we guardians can focus our efforts on putting down the smaller packs without the worry of being overwhelmed, while Martha's blood axes can return to defending the Tor. As for young author Oscar, you will forgive my sudden request for taking him under your wing. He's a good man, attentive, polite, hardworking. So as you can see, he already has learned everything he can from me. He would do well to continue his squiring under a more worthy shield, and the realm has none more worthy than you. Hello, Isabel. Clive, you have the town's thanks for helping rid us of the thralls, but we are neither but we are neither of us so naive to think we have seen the end of their like. Good Philippe has taken to seeing that we are prepared should the ghouls come once again calling, but I oft worry the rank of captain has begun to weigh heavily upon his shoulders. Just as I imagine, the same might be said of you and your burdens. But remember, should the weight ever become too much, you needn't stand alone. Our hearts and arms ever remain open, as do the Vale's doors. The Guard and League have put aside their differences for the time being, allowing us to leave to sip our snake spit in relative leisure. For that, I would hazard, we have your better half to thank. She put on quite a performance. As for yours, well, from one aspiring thespian to another, might I suggest working on your delivery, and your projection, and those stiff limbs of yours, and your countenance, and, well, everything else. We wouldn't want you to do the name Underhill a disservice now, would we? Did you see that? Tell 
me you saw that. Give me goodies. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is everything we've received and everything promised? Here you are. Thank you. All done? For now. Was wondering when you turn up. Hellos from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck. Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. Not like you can undo it or take it back. The crystals are gone. Dion moved. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. You're the chosen one. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry, inside you? 
With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. Too late now, bro. <laughs> Oh. Joshua. <coughs> Clive, it's Gav. Is he okay? There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. You beat that game. Beat it real good. I'm trying, okay? It's long. In a, like, well, I, I shouldn't say it's long. We're only at like 37 hours or 38 hours. But I am running out of time because well, I have to go to work to tomorrow. Uh, it's all I told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. He's dressed and ready to go. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to- Yeah, bro knows Kuraga from age but six. Thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive. If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you. Brother. I'll look after him. Everyone knows in battle spells don't work in the story. Yeah, you're right. That said, Joshua is a little bit special. He has the powers of the Phoenix, and he is actually able to heal, like, better than anyone else in the world because of the powers of the Phoenix. My attendant was with me in the Dominion before I primed. She would have watched the battle unfold and witnessed its outcome. I trust you'll be waiting for me in Tabor, where I can finally introduce you. Yeah, you better make it that long, though, guy. I'm just saying. What will it be today? What is it that you wish to learn? Here you are. No other movement? Okay. Thus ends today's lesson. All right, what's the new hunt? the pack. Well, that's not what I'm looking for either. I need my Morbol. Damn. There's fucking at least four side quests here. Bro, is there any, any more anywhere else? Because that's a, not a small Anything number. Catch your eye? No, Seen okay. Enough? Four or more side quests here. Solve a mystery. I can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid scales, the ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared, which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. 
Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As always. book can you blame me Error. you put me in this situation clive you can bloody well get me out of it i need a hand with a recipe are you sure it's me you're looking for i'm not much of a cook i'm all the cook will be needing thank you very much what i want from you is a little of your time right oh and uh perhaps your sword you remember ivan stew right yeah well despite the look of the thing and that awful stench people wolf it down so i thought i'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself had a peek at the book and gave it a go but well it wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped ivan had the same problem yeah but this is my blooming kitchen and i will not be outdone so if you don't want to be seen as playing favorites i suggest you lend me a hand what is that supposed to mean i've never been one to play favorites molly and I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of Skyworm. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a T. Only, turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Well, that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? I do. Kindly old fella who haunts the shelves, maybe? Fine. I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. Crazy how different food is now versus hundred years ago, even with the same Where's ingredients. The yeah, no I've kidding. i to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valicia, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the chances stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels. Part of that's course. also just because of that's preservation and preparation and stuff. I don't suppose you know where I might find We have Skywalker refrigerators now. Drake's mint. Ah, so the fabled San Brequa delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. <sighs> now, <laughs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the Wyvern, their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. Uh, how very San Brequa. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the drake's mint? Saint's bonnet in contemporary parlance, a herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life, in which regard fried mortress of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach, then. Best of luck, Clive. And do save me a bite once the dish is complete. More so the preparation and quantities. 
lots of lots of hormones and less nutrient rich foods. Well, and on top of that, you have the idea of that it kind of goes into the hormone things, but the in the last hundred years we've bred whether it's plants or fruit or animals to be specific kinds of fruit and plants and animals and stuff, right? Like it, we the the chickens that we kill and eat today are very different from the chickens of a hundred years ago because we've bred a specific kind of chicken that grows faster and grows fatter, fatter, faster. And that's going to be really different from just your regular farm chickens that everyone was using to get eggs over a hundred years ago. Same goes for like a lot of the vegetables and stuff like that. Like, uh, one of the things that I've seen people talk about is the, um, is, uh, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, people will talk about how they like Brussels sprouts more than like 30 years ago when they were kids. And it's like, well, in the last 30 years, we've actually been aggressively breeding Brussels sprouts to be less bitter. Uh, we've also, like, the, the Brussels sprouts today, even from 20, 30 years ago, are different plants. They're still the same, it's still Brussels sprouts, right? Like, it's still the same plant, but they're not the same as they were even fairly recently ago. Seems the hideaway is lost its <laughs> What am I gonna do? What's wrong, Goots? Is everything all right, Goots? You seem more discomposed than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble, and she's... <laughs> it's all right. You can tell me. There was a trader came by. One of our usuals, like, said he'd heard some rotten rumors about her down Dally Mill Way. Folk are saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but, but she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? Phrasing. Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. Slice of bacon used to be like 500 calories and 50 grams of protein. Now it's like 180 calories with 7 grams of protein. That's probably a good thing, though, because people like some fucking bacon. Um, and... 500 calories and 50 grams of protein was much more necessary to people a hundred plus years ago when well life was different than what it was you weren't sitting here for eight hours straight staring at this magic picture box oh <sighs> Master Clive, I apologize for this sudden and untoward gesture. Circumstances have forced me to seek immediate aid, and there is none other than to whom I may turn. Your most esteemed Lord Uncle has presented me with a task most vexing, and I fear I am wholly unable to perform to his vaulted expectations, namely due to a marked lack of martial aptitude on my part. To wit, I am but a manservant, not a man mercenary. While I maintain the fitness ample to attend to the needs of a manor, to the attending of bandits in back alleys, I am sorely ill-equipped. If it please you, my lord, prithee come and see me at Martha's Rest while I shall proceed to explain my predicament in full. <gasps> Rutherford. Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Why would he be at Martha's Rest? That's a terrible thing, because now they just eat more and then don't move. You're not wrong. That's not everyone, though. It's an unfortunate number of them, but it's not everyone. Did you see the pair that got Lady Karen. How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. You're doing good trade then. Both in and 
Out of the hideaway. Hmm. Can't complain. Wait. What exactly are you getting at? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care. But here you are today, raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. What? Just asking. Out of interest. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating. Uh, about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I... I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. Good day. And yeah, she was all like, how dare you? I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded. And that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth. Along with some other things that... Made her feelings clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Ah, oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. But why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. That trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalimil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me, you'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh, right. Well, that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? <sighs> I suppose it is. Damn. I heard the Emperor was impaled on his... We're all gonna die! You hear me? The Akashic are coming and they won't stop until they've slaughtered every single one of us! How do you suppose they'll manage that? You ever seen one of the blue bastards swim? What do you reckon we should do? I say we should just... I found the scales. They're broken. Sid! Out of your studies, I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. <gasps> oh! Then just how long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We just dis dismembered them. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? And why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become a ninja near. <laughs> Miss Mididol said. <laughs> The best way I see how Summit worked is to take it apart and put it back together again. Problem is, we can't well, put it back together. It's already half done. Carry on. Uh. <laughs> about that. The taking apart was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. 
Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. Then... Then... Um... You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these paths with fresh eyes, shall we? <laughs> and then he can't fucking make heads or tails of it either. All right. Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? Uh, the arm. This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> Like a chocobo wing. You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel, or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Mididol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and... That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved. When I tried weighing an apple, and then somebody ate it. Not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. We know Kid. what part's supposed to move, and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. <laughs> not a bad idea. You see, it's not so difficult. So... Now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. And then the arms hold the pans by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Ah, all finished. Yes, we did it. Well, with Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We miss Mididol's hairs. Her hairs? Yeah, hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway with engineers and, and hairs. What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? With a little more help from Miss Mididol and Miss Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> There's still a gear sitting there. You hear that? It won't be long. Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. Hey, look. We never used the cogwheel. You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? Sid's no ninja near, so. Oh, 
Oh, calm down. I heard the Emperor was impaled on his own. What is this? Off limits. That means you. What's in here? Oi. Oh, it just leads to Karen's. I see. Okay, I was like, what the fuck? Did you solve the mystery? It was as you thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully, she won't. This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's no need. It seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room, and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else, it would be an opportunity. But to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. One she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, oh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. Well, we've made plenty of money now, although the money that we've made, there's not a whole lot to spend it on besides the orchestrian rolls. I was complaining earlier about like, man, there's nothing to buy because like the only thing that's expensive is the freaking music rolls. And now that I have some money, I'm like, the only thing to buy that's expensive is the music rolls. <laughs> buy drugs. I, ca I can't carry very many of those though is the problem. Vimer, Quiet Sands, South of Tibor. Oh, I cannot go do those other side quests. All right, well, never mind to those then. <laughs> like a dream for four of us out walking like we used to enjoying this are you gavin the others could be in danger as we speak you're right i'm sorry yote is a fine scout if candle was attacked she will already have begun gathering information Tabor isn't far we should pick up the pace okay now i can i just had to leave the hideout for a moment first Wait a minute, there's a side quest here? 
Oh yeah, there's a side quest up the road. Interesting. One of them said... Vemere. That's where one of the targets was. South of Tabor, which is the place that we're approaching, is another one. I don't see a lot of the other ones. If all of us continue to work together, the bandits may be no more. Look what they've left us. Mommy. It shouldn't be too hard to find goods. The gentlemen of the town guard are as now we're going to learn some more stuff about Lady Karen. Could be I know something more. Hey, Clive, listen. I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about <laughs> Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price. Be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good reaper herself. <laughs> and you've seen this reaper at work? Aye, it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here, plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil. Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, if that's all, I have places to be. Sorry to have kept you. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? Not unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this store he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. You too, Goots. It's actually going to be faster to fast travel back to the entrance. to brave the viper's nest. Just you, is it? <laughs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death? Or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well for you, my guy. Leave now, and we can pretend this didn't happen. This 
This charge is up absurdly slow if you're not getting dodges. Done it now. Go on. Tell me what I've done. When the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! I need to find Goot. Right now. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! Huh. Well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood! Lord! Goose, are you all right? He, he, he's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you. Only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Goots, no. Enough, all of you! But how did you? <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in me fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan. 
back then. Won't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense. But I see you're the same pants pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. You. You bitch. Everything that happened. It was all your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me. Yep. If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, sir. Eh? Wise words. And now it's time to collect. No! I can't! No! She just plucked out his fucking eye. Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean... Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same routes. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor Goots into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but what if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. Well, once but he's tired of losing parts of his body, he'll give up eventually. Or die. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. Oh. ta -ra, Clive! Hmm. Remind me never to cross you, Karen. All right, we're going to bounce back to the hideaway and talk to Karen, but given the time that it is, uh, we're going to have to start giving up on side quests and push main quest. Let's see if we can't actually try to finish this today. I got eight or nine hours to go. And I don't think we'll make it if we're just enjoying the side quests. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul the gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. No, How old are you, Goot? Twelve? To... Your parents certainly didn't give a whit for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goot. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Why, yeah. you big lump. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as maybe. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself <gasps> as well. Ow. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like <gasps> you did in Dalamil. Ow. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. 
Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. I hmm. don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. That's fine. Oh, I did not see what that is. Uh, there's an easy way for me to check, because I'm betting it is just a memory thing. It's just a memory thing. Okay. So let me create another save. System, save, save. This one, sure. Actually, I'll just save on both of these. There we go. So that way, that's a spot. So just in case I see side quests, like, disappear or something like that, I don't have to... Um, I can just come back to, to this point. But we need to to begin focus on actually finishing the main story today, if all possible. What level are we? Thirty-eight. Okay. The reason I asked what level we were is because I know that there is a level cap that isn't ninety-nine or a hundred for your first playthrough. You have to that one of the things of New Game Plus in Final Fantasy mode is the name of the hard mode that is unlocked after you beat the game is the ability to have a higher level cap, which I believe is ninety-nine or a hundred. But I don't know what the level cap is before that game mode. I'm guessing it's 50. The reason that I make that guess is I just looked at uh, like a list of the hunts that exist in the game. And the highest one that I could find was level 50. And I'm betting that in Final Fantasy mode, it's raised to level... Like the, the, it just adds 50 levels to all of them. It's my guess, anyway. I could be horribly wrong. One of the cool things about Final Fantasy mode, though, is that they do uh, make changes to the game. Like, enemies and bosses are different from your first playthrough. Like, the there is an Iron Giant in the game, but the only place to find the Iron Giant is in Final Fantasy mode, because it replaces one of the other bosses. Oh, the battle's ready. It was ready while we were talking to Lady Karen. If we do get through the story, what I'll probably do is I'll probably move my PlayStation upstairs and play through Final Fantasy mode on my big TV. Because I imagine the game is really pretty if you have a nice big display. And I got a pretty big size monitor. I have a 32 inch uh, 1440p monitor that I use as my main monitor here. Uh, but a 75 inch 4K TV would be uh, a very different experience even from this. Place units, everybody. Flying rogues is what I want. Saints is what I want. Warriors is what I want. Oh, I actually meant to do something in here. Titan. Abilities. 
know, keep satellite. Unlearn that. Unlearn that. Master satellite. Learn that. Upgrade that. Uh, master that. Um, unlearn this. Or un-upgrade it. Learn this. Upgrade this. There we go. Oh, this didn't need mastered. Just need learned and upgraded. And then gear and icons. Replace this with Flames of Rebirth. And then in Titan, we put Raging Fists and Satellite. Me. Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Damn. <laughs> Joshua, it's dead. of time before they won't stand the chance we can't let those monsters reach the <laughs> those people need my help I wish I could oh, you catch your breath thank you oh Encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach Tabor. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. We can do this one real quick. It's on the way. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Good. I got here in time. Oh, my God. 
Someone there! Please, I... I can't move my leg! That doesn't sound like an Akashic. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, there he is. You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? <laughs> Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. Thanks. You seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! Fine. If you insist. For Tyson! You're in no fit state to fight. And this should be easy for you. Come on. Kill me! For what? The sins of your master. You and I have no quarrel, and I will not strike a man who cannot defend himself. No, <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw, a murderer, not some. <laughs> some. Man, like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Okay. Let's leave him there. Hopefully the Aether Flood moves on and he can limp his way to town and he can attempt to bring his revenge upon us sometime in the future. We'll see about that, though. I just, I, I just, I literally did that just because I wanted to see Chacho get on a Chocobo. That, that was the whole idea. 
Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. That'll do, girl. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here at Tabor. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now, tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace, it is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda Knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave. Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Not quite. How dare you! Distinguished members of the council. Oh, damn, Harvard, you got your clothes you dirty. You must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. 
My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it! Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! Enough! Imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Thus, surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. that by the flames phoenix gate drake's breath and now here but what is it it is old ancient even naught remains of the faith it represents save what can be gleaned from the image itself none could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant even the undying but i believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it, like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... 
as it has ever been my brother's duty, remember? If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. I think during the next battle, I'm going to need to start a new uh, a new pot of coffee. It's I think she cares for you very deeply, and I her. Which is why I had to let her go. I kind of forgot I was still here. <laughs> Hi. Uh, well, you're still here. Hello. Come again. Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold? Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade, that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Carava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity, but those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. Sure. Right. I'm not doing it right now, but I'll well, throw it on the list. Is. Of course. I'm going to start collecting will. up the side quests. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Carava. I eagerly await your safe and above all triumphant return. Although part of me is like, maybe you should leave them on the field so that you can see collectively like the story of them i don't know i'm not sure what the right answer is the best answer would have been have more time to do them uh that one gets left behind <laughs> i'll come back and get it later <laughs> hmm? cyril how fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, knight of the undying and bearer of the burning quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, keeper of the flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, my lady. 
Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But hmm. you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. I know a Lordsman that you would probably get along with great. He's got a really neat name. It's Harpocrates. Some people call him Tomes. God damn it, more fucking jewelry. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No, you are dismissed. Your grace. It's a canva then. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> So much you know, Clive, and so much you don't. Cyril seemed very, um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Oh. Ah, Lord Rossfield. I'm afraid I cannot stay to talk. I must leave to collect the reports of our spies in the field. Now that you wear the phoenix down, our brothers and sisters will no doubt reveal themselves to you too. Farewell, my lord. And may the firebird's flame burn ever in your heart. The free city? Uh, I gotta go check something real quick. Uh, just out of raw curiosity. So there was the guy in the prison, right? That was in the cell back at Sid's hideaway. And then ever since then, he has been freed and has been sitting upstairs marked as suspicious character. And I'm just kind of curious if we go talk to him, if he's like, oh, hey, I can tell you who I am now because you wear the mark of the Phoenix. You got the Phoenix down on. That's cool. I've been spying on you guys for 14 years. Like, <laughs> figured the best way to get into the hideaway was just get locked up, right? Good thing that you came along, though, because I was getting tired of being in there. Because, like, it makes sense that they'd have somebody in... After Drake's head, I was beginning to wonder if you'd lost interest in Sid's grand scheme. But here we are. Another crystal cracked, another nation in disarray. You... Wear the mantle of outlaw well. After Drake's head, nope. I was beginning to want. I guess not. Would have been neat, but no. But no. Oh. Oh yeah, I was gonna go make coffee. I'll go do that.
<laughs> Cerulean, how could you? Unbelievable. Okay. Ow. Ow. Understood, understandable, and acceptable, I suppose. Just straight? Okay. Where's that way go? Fuck, I'm gonna go look real quick. <clears throat> Are you sure this is the right way, brother? No. In fact, I'm positive it's not. But that's not the point right this moment, Joshua. My curiosity has got the better of me many a times in this game, and that's why we're behind schedule. Yeah. Need to try something. Can I do this? Does this work? Uh, not quite. Okay. Damn, almost got gouge up to a hundred. them up a little bit more. Come on. Come on. Collect, collect up. Get closer together. Closer together. There we go. I might do it. Oh, I only got three. That's not going to be enough. I only got up to 90. We have a whole bunch of ability points. Problem is, is unless you're stacking like the super moves across icons, it's hard to want to use a lot of the um, freaking ability points. Because one of the problems is, is that like you only have six ability slots, right? Three icons, two abilities each. And while if you master an ability from one icon, you can use it on a different one, that's all well and fine. But even mastering the abilities doesn't exactly cost that much outside of like, I don't know what to call them, the ultimates essentially, like the ultimate abilities. And like, it makes sense that those cost a bit more, right? Like, I get that. But 
they're also on such a massive cooldown and it's like okay well what do you want do you want damage do you want stagger do you want utility or do you want the super move and the super moves are on such a long cooldown it feels like it's hard for them to have a lot of value over I don't know, you guys. yeah let's just be rid of them by running right past them it's hard for it to feel like they have a whole lot of value they're really good against big enemies that you can like really heavily stagger break because if you can build up that stagger to where it's 1.5 damage then those ultimates like really like hit nice and hard and let you chunk through like stronger enemies But it's a delicate balance because, like, if you want the ultimates, that takes up, you know, at least three slots. And then it's like, what do you put in those other slots? I really like the utility moves, like the dodges and the counters. The free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Mid, Uncle, Gav. Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. Damn. Name's Mid all, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Hey, Uncle. My boy. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Uncle's had an emotional, like, couple of months. So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, airy blue glow. No doubt they were turned. But silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, 
Why well, you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Love the uncle so much. Shall <sighs> we then? And you keep Clive safe. You will. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Even fall. Uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, Togo. Let's find those survivors. They don't stand a chance against those things. Well, like you said, they don't stand a chance. But we do. We'll just open with this. Soften them up. Or kill them. It's fine too, I guess. More than a few here. out of here.
I think you can probably answer that question, Clive, if you just think about it for a moment. It's not a very fun answer, but I'm pretty sure you can probably think of it. Not too hard to figure out. to you too. Thank you. I was like, I can't see. It's all right. We got there. Got to keep an eye out for them treasure machests along the way. Ah, a little bit of money. Mostly hoping to find accessories if I found anything. That sounded big. Joshua and Jill must be busy. Not that, uh... I don't know if I'm super happy with my current accessories. What other options do we have? Well, look at you, big boy.
Yeah. Still be survivors inside. No, there is not, Clive. Odin made very quick work of that. I appreciate your optimism, though. Got a nice little arena here, though. These creatures. This ultimus reach extend this far. Yeah, pretty much. All right, where's Wave Two? Where is your master? What does he want? Get back here. Herbert? But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You're an armor now. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. Harbert, Herbert. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess, I have been very much looking forward to this. Yeah. Pardon me, this indulgence, your majesty. Thank you for the hydrate, Borealis. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am the king of House Harbard. And you will yield. Yeah, okay. Or not. Oh, that build is not ready yet. Ow. Like that? Now, I can't see. Stupid fucking camera. There he goes. 
Sounds like I don't know how your freaking thing works. Gonna beat the fuck out of you. Did you like that? I like that. Cheater. more from our chosen one uh, perhaps this will kindle your flame what now a gift from my liege lord's armory Gungnir. watch closely Mythos. not bad Well, that was rude. Oh. Stop it. Oh, that didn't counter that? I'm sad. Ah, uh, you missed. Are you all done? Can't fucking see because of the fucking camera, god damn it. Enjoying yourself.
shit again. Stop that shit. Goodbye. Thanks for the experience. Level up. You were cool, but overall a bit underwhelming. The vessel is strong. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. so soon mythos why does everyone keep fucking calling me that keep on saying that like it's, it's the king name. indeed you may kneel before barnabas Tharm, warden of ash and king of walu get back You know, before this gets too much more into it, one, also partially, because I don't give a fuck what this guy has to say. I mean, I do, but he's a chode. Uh, I'm going to go get some coffee, so. Yeah. Because I think we're about to fight Odin. If we don't fight him here, then, you know, we have to fight him over in Walud. We'll see. Might fight him over his mother crystal or something like that. But in the meantime, i got to make sure that I'm properly ready. 
get some coffee to drink in those cinematics. <gasps> <laughs> Ow! Body, why? Word to your mother, Crystal. Boo! You're the one who said it. I am not left-handed. Wild and impetuous. Have a good day, El Canadiano. I expected more of the boy who bested my Lord Commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. <laughs> Stop calling me Muthos. But Muthos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. I'm kind of annoyed that he's just like my kicking purpose. Clive's ass with to minimal effort. My mind and body to that thing. Like, I know it's to make him like seem strong, but it like. Clive, I know you're a better swordsman than this. Like, get your shit together. What the fuck? He could have killed you like four times now. No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Do they even know what cancer is? When did we become aware of cancer? Like, Clive is so talented up until this moment. the moment I think when we lose Jill if we didn't stand a chance against Odin she doesn't this way hurry oh good boy Torkoal grabbing the sword Such a waste. 